welcome to Homeschool Helps with Amanda. I'm Amanda Wares, Homeschool Helps Director with NCHE. Today, we are continuing our series on misinformation, and there's a lot of misinformation out there, so it kind of feels like this series is going on forever and ever, but I promise we are coming to an end. Today, we are continuing, this is the last segment about misinformation related to testing, but this is a big one, and I see it so often. Um, my child scored in the 11th grade on their standardized test, but they're only in the second grade. Does this mean I should put them in the 11th grade? That is misinformation. That is not how these tests work. That is not what these scores mean. So I'm gonna try and help explain a little bit better what our tests are, what they're for, what their scores mean, and what we should do about them. So first off, I wanted to read a definition really quick. What is a standardized test? We have said many times in this segment, our law requires that homeschoolers that are of um, compulsory attendance age have to take a nationally normed standardized test once per calendar year. But what in the world does that mean? So a standardized test is a method of assessment built on the principle of consistency. All test takers are required to answer the same questions and all answers are graded in the same predetermined way. Okay, so that's standardized. Then what does nationally normed mean? It means literally nationally normed, meaning your students' scores are compared to the national sample of students that have all taken that level of test. Okay, all right, now, what do these scores, what in the world do they even mean? I know it's confusing, um, but usually in your standardized test res results, you will have a percentile and wherever your child falls on that percentile, 50% is average. So anything above that is above average. Anything below that is below average. And again, that is average compared to how all the other students at that grade level test performed, okay? And the same, it's the same thing when you're talking about the grade level equivalency. So when your student scores whatever grade level equivalent that they're scored at, that is as compared to a student, how a student at that grade level would perform on that test. Again, I know it's confusing, but it doesn't mean that your seven-year-old should be doing eighth grade work. Um, or vice versa. It doesn't mean that your 11th grader should be doing second grade work. That's not what that means at all. And ultimately, I've said this so many times, but I'm gonna say it again. We give these tests because it's required by our law. Often, it is just a hoop that we jump through. It can sometimes give you information that could help guide your choices in your curriculum choices, um, how you approach your homeschooling, but ultimately it's not going to give you any new information. It's not going to give you some revelation that's going to revolutionize your homeschool approach at all. And in the end, what effect do these standardized testing scores have on you and your homeschool? Nothing nothing at all. So this is my last word on testing. So I'm going to encourage you once again, relax. Do not let this requirement in our law stress you out or stress your children out. It's a hoop you have to jump through. It can give you some helpful information if you would like it to, but ultimately just relax. Enjoy your children. Enjoy the journey of homeschooling and let them progress at the pace and level that they need to progress at. It's all going to be okay. I promise. I hope that was helpful today. <laughs>